Hey, hey, everyone. It's Monday, which means it's Mindfulness Monday. I hope everyone had an amazing weekend and an even more amazing Monday. I'm posting this later than usual, I know, but my day's been quite busy and a little stressful. So today is more of a guiding end of the day podcast that can help you coast to Wednesday's video. I found that posting later in the day also allows me to reflect just enough to give you guys the content you deserve. So today, I want to talk about the past. Don't be alarmed. No embarrassing memories or traumatic backstories will be called upon. In fact, the opposite is going to happen. We are going to fully suspend the past from our minds. I know what you're thinking. How the heck am I supposed to do that? Just forget my past? Well, I'm not saying erase it from memory as if it never happened. But this podcast is suggesting that you let go of that, for the moment, even if it's just forgetting what you ate for breakfast. Forgetting about the past is one of the biggest parts about being mindful. The past can cause us to waste time doing things absent-mindedly, and that's pretty scary. Imagine that you're so hung up on that embarrassing thing you said yesterday that you aren't able to make a better step forward today. I know there's a common idea that the past is who we are, but that's not true at all. We are who we are at this current second. Right now, I am Taya from Taya Talks. I'm not Taya, the CS major, or Taya, the coach, or Taya from work. I'm Taya from Taya Talks. We are who we are in the moment. Our past selves are not ourselves in the present. Whoa, that comes out a bit meta. So let me break that down a little bit. Our past is like a string character in computer science. It's immutable. It cannot be changed. For all you people that are new to computer science, or frankly don't care, a string character is one of the characters or one of the values that you can use in computer science. It's one of those things that once you enter it, it can't be changed or reassigned. That's kind of like our past. Our past is the exact same way. If we choose to accept this fact that our past is immutable, our lives run smoothly. Of course, there are other factors that could prevent us from being present, even after accepting this, but I'll address that next week, I promise. My point today is to explain just how damaging focusing on the past too much can be. The past is immutable, guys, but our fixation with it can definitely change us, and it'll definitely hold us back. The past is meant to be a tool, a learning tool, and if you aren't learning from it, then just forget it. If you don't forget it, don't expect progress or growth. In order to use the past as a tool, we must approach it objectively. I know you might be a little skeptical because objectivity seems impossible, but we just have to think back on the lessons learned and perhaps we can approach it without getting tangled into the experience again. You can think about that embarrassing moment without feeling that same embarrassing feeling. Why put yourself through that suffering again? This is why reflection can be some scary for some people. It's like forcing yourself to dip in a toe in the water, but not fully jump in. If you mistake reflection with fixation, you'll never get anywhere. You'll end up being pushed into the pool. Try to pinpoint what about the past is bothering you. That's my biggest suggestion. You fixate on the past for a reason, guys. And if you can pinpoint, maybe that'll help. Is it the mistake you made? Or people you miss? Or opportunities you perhaps lost? Maybe you missed out on something. Maybe you forgot something. Regardless of what it is, once you find the source, you can take steps forward toward accepting it. If you're finding it hard to even figure out why, try meditating and paying attention to the thoughts that arise. Again, here I go with the meta nonsense. All right, meditation could just be sitting still, paying attention to your surroundings and trying to let your mind be as blank as possible. I promise it's very productive. And even though you feel like nothing's happening, just pay attention to those little thoughts that float in. Maybe you're sitting there and you think, I can't believe I said that last week. Now Joe probably thinks I'm an idiot. Well, that's probably the issue. You made a mistake. Or perhaps you're thinking, man, right now I could be hanging out with my best friend. That's the person you miss. And that's the issue you need to work on. Those are your answers, guys. And from there, remind yourself that the past is immutable. And there is nothing you can do to alter it. I know that sounds scary and a little depressing. But once you take pride in that, take relief in that, then you'll realize that those mistakes you made are not who you are. That there's nothing you can do to change it, which means there's nothing you can do to keep remembering it.
Remembering it is pointless, and then you feel like a weight has been lifted. <sighs> that stuff is really hard, though. I know. It's easy to tell yourself, it's fine, it's just the past, but then your mind still travels back to that place. For my college students, I know you think about that test you may have bombed. Sure, it's annoying. It's really stressful, because all you can do is think about, man, that test. How did I get that answer wrong? What did I do wrong? But do those thoughts help you change the answers? The answer is no. But you know what those thoughts could do? If you spin them around properly, they could get you an A. Here I'll say this. Let your mind travel. I know you're saying, what does that even mean? Well, it means to let those thoughts come in, but don't let them consume your day. If you're walking down the street and you think about that embarrassing thing you said yesterday, or that test you bombed, or that time you knocked someone's coffee off their desk, it's okay. It happens. But you can't dwell on the fact that you just thought about it because then you're still dwelling on the past. And maybe you're not dwelling on that past memory or that past embarrassing moment, but now you're dwelling on the past of you allowing it to think into your mind. Simply approach it like this. I notice this embarrassing thought. I notice this past memory. I accept it. Once you say you're accepted, either mentally or aloud, your body is able to move on and your mind goes with it. It is okay to falter sometimes and you can't force your mind to be perfect, but don't reprimand yourself. Instead, just calmly redirect yourself, even do a grounding exercise. Once you've done this for a long enough time, you'll find it easier to move on through daily life. The past is a tricky siren and sometimes you'll get stuck. You'll be confused. You won't know why you keep fixating on that thing. But when you take a moment to meditate, to think, to ask yourself, what about this memory, about this moment, am I still clinging to? Once you figure that out, it's a cakewalk, guys. It's up to you to pull yourself out of your own thoughts. Even if you can remember the past like it was yesterday, guess what? Yesterday is still the past. Once you're fully aware of this, you'll be able to pull yourself from this state of reminiscence and what we'll talk about next week, the future as well. Accept that what will be will be and what was, was. You cannot change it and there's some relief in that. You learn those lessons for a reason and you can use them to make your present even more delightful. You're only responsible for the present, friends. You only are as you are right now. If you think about it, that's comforting. No one remembers you as talkative Tom or joking Betty. Ridiculous Rhea. You're a new person. You're the person you are in the present. That person could be awesome at soccer. That person could be the top of their class. That person could have just gotten an A on that test or that big promotion. You're not responsible for your past anymore. You're only responsible for making your present the best present it can be. Once again, you only are as you are now. Focusing on the past just steals that time and that precious energy from the present you. All right, friends, that got really heavy. So I'm going to end this with one thought. Take time tonight to focus on what matters to you. If you still find yourself drifting into the past, maybe take some time with yourself or maybe reserve some time for this weekend and think about what is keeping you there. Mindfulness is a journey and I don't know all the answers, but maybe we can find them together. Take the time to get to know yourself, get to know what about that past is so interesting, so captivating, keeping you entangled in its vines and you'll find your answer, and your peace. That's it for tonight. I hope you guys experience this journey perfectly, but it doesn't have to be. This is all a process. Do your best, and the rest will come easy. Namaste. Have a great day.